Hey, how's it going? I'm Jackson, and today we're doing a chip tier list, because why not? Um, and just before we get started, I just recently passed 100 subscribers. I'm at 103 now. Thank you guys so much again. And if you want to help me get to an even higher number, I'd really appreciate it. It mean the world to me. Let's just get straight in. So first of all, we got uh, Cheetos, just the classic crunchy Cheetos. That is a classic, but it is quite goy sloppy at this point. Um... I mean, it's not bad though. It's kind of, it's kind of got a bad reputation. I feel like, well, no, it's actually more like hot Cheetos. We're gonna get to those in a moment. But yeah, regular Cheetos, they're pretty good. I'm gonna put them in A tier. I don't actually know what flavor of Doritos that is off the top of my head. Hold on, that is spicy sweet chili. I'm not sure if I've ever had that, but I've had other um, sweet chili flavored chips and they're not great in my opinion. I don't think sweet and chili mix very well. I'm going to put that a D. I think that's a good D tier. These, oh I love these. These are great. These uh, these honey BBQ chips, the, the, the Frito twists, oh these are fantastic. I, I really like these. That is either I think A or S. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to put that in S tier. These are fantastic. Frida's really hit it out of the park with these. Funyuns, that is an easy S tier for me. I love onions. I love them to death. Funyuns are super overpriced, but they are delicious, and I love them, and they make my breath smell really bad, but, hey, they taste good. So we got uh, baked barbecue Lay's chips. Baked Lay's chips of any flavor are phenomenal, I must say, so I'm going to put this in S tier. Bugles. Now, if you ever, if you never put these on the ends of your fingers or pretend you had claws as a kid, I mean, you didn't have a childhood then. These are, these are another kind of classic. They're they're not that flavorful because they're pretty plain, but that can really be good. Sometimes it is good in my opinion. I like plain chips. I I've always, especially with Pringles, I really like plain Pringles, the original version. Um, I'm gonna put that solid B tier. It's not bad, but it's not not the best, but it's good. Cape Cod Original. Oh, easy S tier. That, oh, those are so good. Uh, fantastic. So crispy and so salty and so delicious. And I I should, I feel like I should say in this video, I really, really, really like carbs. I love carbs. Carbs are my best friend. I'm lucky enough to have an extremely good metabolism, so I never really gain weight ever. But I, I love bread and chips and anything that has carbs in it. Oh, it's so good. Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I mean... Okay, so here's the thing. These taste really good, but they have probably the worst reputation of any chip ever to exist. Hmm. Now, do I factor in the reputation? I mean, they're also not my favorite. Like, I wouldn't put this in S tier based off flavor. Um, I don't think I'm going to count the reputation. I'm just going to try really hard to just focus on how they actually taste. Uh, I think I'm just going to put them along with uh, regular Cheetos up in A tier. I think it's fair. Cheetos Puffs. Not a fan of these. Never have been, really. I've always preferred the crunchy variety. I'm not a fan of the Puffs. I think they're a bit too soft in the in, in a way. I like it. Unless the point, but I don't think it works very well for the brand. Um, Yeah, really not a big fan. I'm going to put these in D tier. I was about to go F, but that would probably piss off a lot of people. Cheddar, regular cheddar cheese, cheese it's or cheese it, I suppose, because the Mandela effect. Regular cheese it, that is an S tier, absolutely. White cheddar, oh, absolutely. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, those are spicy cheese it's, ab still absolutely an S tier. Cheese it's original, absolutely S tier. There's, there's no debate on that, in my opinion. Cheez-Its are some of the most goaded chips to ever exist in my in, in the history of the world, I'll, although I guess they're crackers, not chips. I'm not sure they're on this list, but hey, I didn't make it. Chex Mix. Now that, you could really make a case for not being a chip. That is kind of far from being a chip brand, but you know what? Well, it does have those brown things that are kind of like chips. I don't even know what those are, uh, but they taste good. Chex Mix is kind of a classic, although it's not the best. I think it's, honestly, I think it is pretty average, so I might, I'm thinking B or C tier. Uh, 
Oh, also, I don't know what bold is. I've never actually had this, but I'm assuming it's not that much different from regular Chex Mix, so I'm just putting C tier. And as for regular Chex Mix, just C tier as well. I think it's pretty average. Combos, these. I used to really like these, but I've kind of not liked them so much over the years. My interest in them has kind of faded. These are really an, an icon for me of road trips. We'd all, Me and my family would always get these on road trips from gas stations, like these specifically. Combos are pretty great. There's no denying that. Um, they're not my favorite, but they're not bad. I believe these are just cheddar cheese ones. Um, I'm going to put that in B tier. As for the pizza combos, I'm going to put those in B tier as well because they're not too dissimilar. Cool Ranch Doritos. That is a toughie. It's a, I, I'm thinking either A or S. I don't think I can go any lower because they're Doritos. I mean, you can't really go that wrong. I've always kind of been on the fence as what I like more between nacho cheese and Cool Ranch because they're both really good. And I'm not sure which I can choose. Uh, I'm going to put these in S on it, actually. They're, I mean, can't deny for a second how good they are. Regular Doritos, ah, uh, you know, I think I like them less. I think I like Cool Ranch more, honestly, sometimes. But I'm not sure if I can bring myself to put it any lower than S, because it's, you know, Doritos. Yeah, I'm putting it there. And then this is, I actually don't know what that is. That is Salsa Verde. I have never had that in my life. I didn't know that flavor existed. Um, I mean, I'm just kind of going to go ahead and assume that it's also S tier because it sounds really good and it's Doritos. So, oh, these, oh, going to the river, the very front. I love these. I just, I just love like plain chips a lot. Like no flavors added, just, just pure carbohydrates are goaded in my opinion. Absolutely wonderful. This I've also never had, but it looks kind of gross. Sorry. Um. I'm just going to assume it, it goes in A tier. If I had, I'd probably put it there, I'm assuming. Um, is that chili? Yeah, these are chili cheese, I believe. Chili cheese Fritos, do I have that right? Yes, okay. Chili cheese Fritos. Never had these, but I do not like chili. I'm sorry to anyone listening. I'm not a fan of chili. Um, I'm going to put them in C tier. Fritos original, absolutely an S tier. Once again, pure, unadulterated carbohydrates with no, no added flavor whatsoever. Just pure carbs. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong for a second. Now, let's see here. These I have also never had, but it looks like Chex Mix. That, that just looks like Chex Mix to me. So, I'm going to put it where Chex Mix is because it looks like off-brand Chex Mix. Goldfish. Now, that is definitely a cracker. This is definitely not a chip. That I can say for sure, but it is in the list, and I have no way to delete it, so got to put it somewhere. Uh, flavor Blasted. I haven't had goldfish in what feels like years. I think it has been years now since I've had goldfish crackers, but I mean, they're pretty good. They don't taste like cheese, though. They taste like chemicals. They taste like processed garbage. I mean, they're not actually that great. I kind of take that back. Like the, the, I feel like this is one of the like cheese flavored things out there that you can really tell that it's like, I forget. Are these made with real cheese? I think they are, but they don't taste like they are. They taste like they are made in a factory with like anthrax or something. Um, I'm gonna put them B tier as for regular goldfish. C tier flavor blasted. I mean, you can't go wrong with flavor blasted. So I'm a little bit better. Sun chips. Now I feel like these have always been. Just like the, the meth-addicted little brother of every chip ever. Who who likes these exactly? I mean, they're not even bad. It's just who who buys these? Like, if you're at the store and you see a bag of sun chips on the on the on the shelf in the aisle, who buys them? Who does that? I, I haven't seen a bag of sun chips in like 30 years. Do they do these even exist anymore? I these like these are so weirdly forgettable to me but not bad i can vaguely remember what they taste like because i feel like the last time i had them was like a, a decade ago now um 
Let me put in B tier. I think they're a little bit above average. Super forgettable, though. Are these uh, Cheetos fries? Yes, they are. Okay. Cheetos fries. I don't think I can put that any lower than A. I think it fits nicely with its little with its uh, with its brothers. Salt and vinegar, easy S. Anything that's salt and vinegar is absolutely S tier without a single shadow of a doubt in my mind. Oh, these. Remember when I said I love baked Lay's potato chips? And remember when I said I love pure, unadulterated, unflavored carbohydrates? These are the best of both worlds. This is maybe my favorite chip ever because it is baked Lay's and no flavor. And it's fantastic. If you've never had a bag of these, you need to. They're so good. They're so ridiculously delicious. Lay's barbecue, that's another S tier. I mean, Lay's is, I like, I know everyone jokes about their bags being empty and everything, but if you discount that and you actually just go off the taste of the chips, not the quantity of them that you get for your money, they are fantastic. I think they're probably the best in the industry, in my opinion. Lay's kettle cooked, easy S. Sour cream and onion. Um, I'm, I've never been the biggest fan of this flavor for chips. It, like, it's, it's one of the most common, I feel like, up there, which is, like, original and salt and vinegar. You just see this flavor everywhere. But I'm not the biggest fan. I think I'm going to put this one A tier, because it's not bad, because it still lays and lays, makes some good shit. But, I mean, not a big fan of sour cream and onion. Lays original, easy ass. Easy ass. Putting it up at the front, right by, right next to baked. Oh, my God. They're so good. I've never had these, but they just look like a mashup of everything on this list. Uh, I'm going to put it in C tier. Never had these either. I, I can't really say. I'm going to put them in C tier. Look at that. I've never had these either. Sorry. Pork skins. My dad loves these. Like, yeah, I think it's his favorite snack, if I'm not mistaken. I've never been the biggest fan, honestly. I, I don't think pork rinds are great. Pork skins. I call them pork rinds. Um... I mean, they're not bad, but they're not my favorite by any means. I think they're, I think they sit comfortably in just average C tier, honestly. Pizza Pringles. Honestly, the pizza flavor is not the greatest in my opinion. It does taste like pizza, but it kind of overshadows the taste of the chip that I buy chips for. I, I'm not buying chips for pizza. I'm buying chips for chips. But it's not bad. I do also love Pringles. I think they're also one of the best brands when it comes to making chips. I'm going to put that in B tier. Sour cream and onion, that I'm going to put in C tier. Pretzels. Good old pretzels. S tier. What is that? Uh, uh, is that cheddar? Cheddar and sour cream? Cheddar and sour cream. All right. Cheddar and sour cream ruffles. Ruffles are also fantastic. Cheddar and sour cream is, I think, a bit better than sour cream and onion, but it's also not my favorite flavor of anything. So, I'm going to put that in A tier. I think it fits comfortably there. Sour cream and onion again, my my worst enemy. I'm going to put that in C tier. Oh, uh, there with the Pringles version. This popcorn, the smart food popcorn, I'm not the biggest fan. It kind of doesn't even taste like popcorn. It tastes like... I don't even know. It, it's like... it. I feel like it's just, I could be dead wrong, at, like, objectively, but I feel like it's the most processed garbage kind of popcorn you can get or from, the, you know, the stuff in movie theaters or whatever. Eh, I mean, it's still popcorn. You can't really go wrong with popcorn at, at the end of the day. I'm going to put in B tier. I believe this is more pork rinds. Uh, where did I put the first pork rinds? I'm going to put it with that. Uh, there it is. All right, and we got more sun chips. I'm um, just going to put that with the other sun chips. Takis, oh, S tier. I'm sorry to sound like, you know, every everyone ever, but Takis are just fantastic. I don't know who invented these. I don't know who created the, the secret recipe, but it is phenomenal. And I, I gorge myself on them from time to time. I have a bit of an addiction. They are absolutely delicious, I must say. Tostitos, party size, S yes, tier. Oh, yeah. Plain chips, bowl shapes so you can scoop stuff. Oh, my God. They're so good. I don't know what that flavor of Tostitos is. Hold on. That is Salsa Ranchera. I've never had those. 
Never had those Tostitos. I'm going to put them in S still because they're Tostitos and I'm sure I love them. Triscuits, F tier. These are disgusting. I'm not sure who eats these, but if you do, you need to be locked away in a psych ward. I think it's, yeah, it's definitely the only F tier. These are dog shit. I don't know who likes these. I, I, like, are they a health food? I don't even know. Are they just meant to be disgusting as like a like a gag gift? Like here, I got you, got you a bag of tri uh, triscuits for your birthday. What do you mean you want me out of your house forever? Disgusting. Veggie straws S tier. Never thought uh, never thought vegetables could taste better. I mean, I know it's not vegetables. I know it's probably not healthy at all, but they are so good. They almost make me want to eat real vegetables. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'll never do that. But they are fantastic, and I believe that is ha yeah, jalapeno kettle cooked blaze. I think we all know where that's going. If you know anything about me, you know I love spicy stuff. And kettle cooked blaze are amazing. And there we go. Let's see, we got Triscuits all the way to Takis. Pretty solid list. Looks like C tier has a whole bunch. That That's fitting with it being average, and then S tier is full to the brim with my personal favorites, I love Takis, I love veggie straws, I love baked lays, oh my god, it's making my mouth water. But yeah, uh, that's the full list, and if you want to subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it, I'll come give you a kiss on your mouth, and uh, you have a great day.